Hello everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys have had a great week. It is mid-March already and so it's time for us to use a Lucky Clover stamp set. Um, don't worry, no punch required. The punch has sold out. So like sold out, gone, never coming back, unfortunately, but that's okay because really the punch only punches one image. The rest of them don't need a punch. And it's a really cute set. I like the fonts. So that's what we're going to do today. Make three of those projects. I see you guys jumping on. All right, good. Let's see. I need to make sure that my volume is down. Um, of course, somebody is blowing leaves right outside the window. Why do they wait to do their yard work till Fridays at 2 o'clock? <laughs> oh, anyhow, hopefully they are almost done because it's been going on for a while. Um, hello guys, good to see you. Okay, so today um, I'm going to tell you a little bit in a, in a little while, but I wanted to let you know that Facebook Friday will be different this week. I'm leaving town. We're going on a little road trip with the kids, and so I'll be gone this next week. So I won't be doing free make and takes this week, but I do have something else fun to give you if you put in an order while I'm gone. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's see. Let's jump around. I'm going to show you this month's all-star tutorial. I have to admit something to you guys. This by the bay suite in the spring catalog, it didn't really do anything for me at first. But then when I started playing with it for this, I fell in love with it. It's on back order right now. Um, I hope that it comes back in time. You know, it's, the timing's really weird this year. Um, the spring catalog ends the end of April. So that means things are while well, supplies last in April. Is that right? Am I getting that right? It's a lot. It's a lot to keep up with. And I don't know if these will be back in stock in time for me to do a class or a Facebook Friday at least with it. Hopefully. Um, maybe if it carries over to the annual catalog, that would be even better. Um, speaking of that, I hope you guys saw... Uh, my post last night, I pulled up, um, demos have a page called the inventory status page, and I pulled that up, and it was like a bazillion things on there. It's getting to that time where the catalogs are ending, so Stampin' Up's not ordering any more product for those things that are going to be discontinued, and so things are just going to be like selling out. It feels like it's earlier this year than before. Um, usually we know what's retiring. And then, so then when we get a notice that it's sold out, we're like, okay, well, we knew that was coming. There are some things like the Heron dies have completely sold out. That was kind of a shock. So just know you guys in the next, I guess, maybe six, seven weeks, inventory is going to be weird. Um, one thing I will tell you is that for next, not this next Friday, but the next Friday, I had planned on using the Queen Bee Bundle. And I made some really cute projects using the Hues of Happiness designer series paper. And that paper is on low inventory, which makes me think that if it sells out, that it's going to be gone because it's an annual catalog product. So who knows? Over the next six weeks, my Facebook Fridays might be weird. <laughs> I know there's like six or seven things I'm using today that are actually unorderable right now. So you guys just give me some grace. I'm doing the best I can. Stamina is doing the best they can. It's just the way things are. So anyway, I interrupted myself to tell you all that. <laughs> um, but the By the Bay suite, love it. This is the All-Star Tutorial PDF. I haven't sent it out yet this month. Sorry, guys, I'll do that after this. When you shop with me and you spend over $50, you get this for free. I email, email them out about every, I don't know, seven, eight days, usually. It's, what, the 10th today, and I haven't emailed them out yet. So... Um, if you spend $50 with me in March online, um, I will email this to you for free. It's got 12 project tutorials in it. Um, using the by the bay suite, 12 different designers, Stampin' Up! Dem demonstrators, um, they're video tutorials and they have measurements in Imperial and metric. Um, if you don't want to order anything from me, if you're a demo or you have a demo, don't worry. You can buy this in my PDF store for $15. Okay. Okay. Oh, here's my project for this month. And you know what? Um, we had a blog hop. I don't know what happened to my card. We had a blog hop this week. 
Did you guys check it out? I posted a bunch of things right on top of each other this week, so you might not have checked, might not have seen it. So if you want to check out the blog hop, we all post a second project using the By the Bay Suite. So then you have double the amount of ideas. So make sure you go back a couple of posts to check it out. All right, so there is that. Um, Club Create. You know, should I turn around? Should I turn you guys around? Yeah, let me turn you around. Let me turn you around so you can see this. Because this is really the first time I'm showing you this. Let me turn you around. Um, Club Create April. Club Create subscription for April has opened up. And this is what we're doing. The Greatest Journey. I love this suite so much. I've got some fun little cards in here for Club Create. Um, Club Create is my subscription uh, program. Every month you get a kit. It has five projects, video and PDF, as well as about $20 in product. Um, it's $39 a month. That includes shipping. And um, if you stay six months, you get a $25 product credit on your sixth month. So this is for April. March's kit has closed. That window has closed. So now we're on to April. If you're interested in this um, kit, if you're not a subscriber already, you can uh, click the Club Create tab at the top of my blog and it'll take you over there. The PDF and video are in my PDF store as well. If you are one of those that just buys the PDF, it is there ready for you to go. It's a really good group of projects. I love it. I love the colors. I love all of it. So anyway, this subscription period goes through April 7th. Okay. All right. Now let's see. Um, okay. My legendary ride class. I just told you guys last week I had a I have a class that was almost ready and it wasn't quite ready and I wasn't sure I was going to get it ready, but I got it ready. <laughs> I, whoops, I love my cards coming apart. I love this bundle. We are not motorcycle people in my family. It doesn't matter because this, this suite of products is so cool. Um, it has this, the stamp set and the dies. You can stamp your motorcycle or you can paper piece it together like this. Um, this class to go is, um, separate. It's not club create. Sometimes people ask me, is this club create? No, this is just a one-time class to go, um, that gets sent to you at the beginning of April. Um, I didn't write down the prices, darn it. Um, I have a whole blog post two days ago with all the details. I will, when we're done, I will add the link here to the top of the video so you can click over there. But what's included are six cards half a pack of the the paper which is amazing it's specialty paper it's got some shiny stuff in it you're going to get a pack of adhesive studs don't you love that studs um and you can add on the metal plate isn't that what it's called metal plate embossing folder if you don't have that um so all the details are over there i'm going to make a video of the class you know how sometimes i'll make a little short video telling you all about the class. I hadn't done it yet because I didn't have these and they just got here. So um, I will make that video hopefully before the end of today. So if you guys want more details on that class. Um, the deadline is March 29th. You can get it with the bundle, without the bundle, PDF only. There's no video for this class. It's just a PDF. Um, what else? What else? What else? Deadline March 29th. I don't know the cost off the top of my head. Okay, there you go. All right, so that is that. Oh, and you know what? I was going to tell you. Well, I'll, I'll give those details when I make the, the little commercial for it. All right. <laughs> um, hello, everybody. I'm so glad to see you here. Oh, Andrea, your daddy rode a Harley for 50 years. Oh, oh in a wheelchair. That's very sad. I'm sorry, friend. Um, but yeah, some people are motorcycle families, right? We're not, but I still absolutely love that suite. Okay, so I mentioned that Facebook Friday is going to be a little bit different. And every spring break, I do something a little different. Um, we're usually out of town for spring break. This is our coming up. This is our spring break. We're taking the kids on a road trip to New Mexico this year. Do some um, national parks over there. Um, so while I'm gone, this week I'm not going to be cutting any of these projects. 
Um, but instead, I'm, I'm doing what I did last year. Um, and I'm, I've got cards galore. So in each of these packages is 10 handmade cards and 10 envelopes. And if you spend $50 with me between now and the 19th, um, you're going to get one of these in the mail. Um, if you spend $100, I'm also, on top of that, going to send you the Scenic Garden. This was the Celebration Host stamp set that you could only get if you spent over $350 or had a party or whatever. Um, and I have a bunch of them that I would really like to give away to you guys. So any orders over $100 will earn that. So there is a host code attached to this. If your order is over $150, don't use that host code because you're also gonna get Stampin' Rewards and I'll still send you my thank you gifts, all right? So that is from the 10th to the 19th. Um, you can order anything you want. I, don't, I mean, I don't care, whatever you want. That Rhino bundle, guys, the new one is super cute. I've made two projects with it so far. If you haven't ordered that, I highly recommend you order it because we're gonna hopefully do a Facebook Friday with it as long as it doesn't sell out. Okay, so no make and takes this week, just free cards and stamp set. All right, I have the details all typed up on my blog. Have you guys um, checked my blog to make sure it's working? Let me pull it up real quick to make sure that it's working. Did I put the right picture? I did. Sometimes I get things right. Okay, let's get started. Oh, prizes. I have, I have a winner from last week. I picked one winner to win the Nested Friends Bundle, Heather Howard. Heather, I don't know if I have your mailing address, but if you would just message me or email me your mailing address, I will get this in the mail for you. Thank you so much for sharing my video. I do greatly appreciate it when you guys do that. This week, I'll have two. This, these are the layered stripe background stamps. So I'll pick two winners next time in two weeks when we have Facebook Friday. We're actually using the stamp today for one of our projects. So really, I love background stamps. Do you guys like background stamps? Do you use them? I love them. Um, they are one of my favorite things to use, especially the geometric pattern um, background stamps. Okay, so that's that. And I will put that up there. And... I think we are ready to get started. Let's see what we're going to do first. Okay, did I miss anything? Did I miss any questions or anything? Um, so hopefully spring weather, guys, maybe where you're at, spring weather, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's straight on summer down here now. No, not really, but it has gotten warm. It has gotten very warm. Um, I'm wearing long sleeves today, but I can see the sun has come out and that is going to change shortly. All right. This card is really a fun one. Um, we're going to make a rainbow just with strips of cardstock. I love using strips of cardstock. You guys probably noticed that. I do that a lot. Different color combinations, making ombre, uh, you know, with like different yellows or different pinks or rainbow, bright rainbow, pastel rainbow, whatever. I love doing that. So we're going to make that. I'm using the bridge. Now, guys, remember, I warned you. <laughs> Today I'm using several things that are unorderable right now. Please do not throw shade at me, all right? <laughs> I plan these way ahead. Don't worry. Lucky Clover is available. But these right now are on um, back order. So that means they're unorderable until next week. So all you have to do is wait till next week. Um we're going to use the bridge and the grass from Playing in the Rain Dies, okay? All right, we're also going to use masking paper. I have not used the masking paper with you guys before, and I feel like it needs some attention, so we're going to use it. All right, the first thing we're going to do is make that cloud background. I need a piece of grid paper. Uh, yes, Andrea, I believe it dies. It says the week of, they never give us an exact date. It says the week of March 13th, which would be next week. Um, fingers crossed, right? The little flowers that are in that sweet little flower embellishments were supposed to come back next week too, but they've now bumped that to the week after. So Club Create, guys, your kids are going to be a little bit late this, this uh, month, probably 
I probably won't be able to ship them for four or five days past when I usually do because of those stinking flowers. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm starting with a four by five and a fourth inch piece of basic white. I took my masking paper and um, the cloud die from the basic border dies and I cut the cloud on the edge. All right, and so you're gonna peel this. Now, when, I, when we first got this, I was very excited. I'm like, it's like post-it tape. But I will tell you, it's much stickier than post-it tape. So what you need to do is unsticky it a little bit by <laughs> putting it on your clothes like this. This will unsticky it enough. It's so sticky that when you use it without doing that, it tears. Um, so I like to stick it on the table. Just do a little bit of that because it is very sticky, okay? All right, so we're gonna put this down here like that. And I've got one of these mini blending brushes. Since we have come out with these small blending brushes, that's all I'm using. I like them better than the bigger ones. I'm not real sure why, but I just do. I like them. You guys, have you tried the mini ones? They're so, I think they're just easier for my hand for some reason. Okay, so I'm using Balmy Blue and carefully peel up your clouds. And then don't put it exactly down because then all your... Clouds will be, you know, exactly the same all the way down. So kind of move it over each time. And you wanna run your blending brush off on the edge first so that that little hard bump that you get when you set your blending brush down will not be on your paper. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move, the, move the paper over to the right this time. You can also start down here like this. I forgot about our masking paper and I stumbled upon it a couple weeks ago and I was like, wait a minute, what is this? I forgot that we had this. I need to be using it more. All right, so I'm just gonna go all the way down, adding some beautiful spring fluffy clouds. I think we'll do one more like this. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, isn't that cute? The other day, the sky looked just like this, and I was thinking, that looks just like my my uh, <laughs> my card. White fluffy clouds. All right, on the bottom, we're gonna stamp these little clovers. They're very cute. They're just like sprinkled clovers. All right, so just sprinkle them down here like this. Um, okay, so let's set that aside. You're going to get, actually, you know what? Let's do the glue because that needs to dry. So we'll, we'll come back to that. All right, the colors that I am using, I'll tell you as I go. They, they measure a fourth of an inch. It's very hard for me to cut a fourth of an inch. I always wanna do half. A fourth of an inch, it feels like nothing. Like I'm not cutting anything. I don't know why that is. All right, I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way out. I'm gonna start with Granny Apple Green, and you wanna just go easy on the glue, as always, and I'm gonna put this here in the corner. All right, and I'm gonna move up. So Tahitian Tide, I almost called it Tempting Turquoise. And you wanna get it real close. Not You wanna leave a space, but not a big space. And then we've got a gorgeous grape. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys something. The Legendary Ride class, my friend Ange McKay is offering it too in Canada. So if you are in Canada, you can order that kit as well. You know, Stampin' Up! has these rules where we can't, I can't sell product to anybody outside of the United States and Ange can't sell to anybody outside of Canada. So sometimes we team up and offer the same thing. So if you're in Canada, I have it linked to her um, post as well on my page. I don't know why that just entered my mind in the middle of the rainbow, but it did. Okay, so now, now I have to work backwards in my rainbow order. Daffodil Delight. I wanna sing the rainbow song to you guys, but I'm not going to. I used to teach kindergarten and we sing the rainbow song quite a bit. Pumpkin pie. 
flirty flamingo. Oh, that looks like, no, I guess that's okay. This down here is gonna be covered up, so don't worry about it being like perfect down here at the end. Really, all that's gonna show is up here. And last but not least, Melon Mambo, which I haven't given enough attention to lately. My first love, my first love of stamping up colors was Melon Mambo. All right, let's move that over just a tad. You guys, I forgot. Another, I, have, I thought of something else. It has to do with Melon Mambo. Mel Melon Mambo's little sister is polished pink. That's what I was thinking because I love polished pink. And then it made me remember that I printed this out to show you guys. And it's still sitting on my printer. Today's the last day to subscribe to this one's Paper Pumpkin. And the spot in this Paper Pumpkin is polished pink. You see how my mind works? I jump around. <laughs> Melon Mambo, polished pink, Paper Pumpkin. That's how I got there. If you want to guarantee you getting this kit, you've got to subscribe by today. It's the 10 year anniversary, so you're getting a free stamp set. There'll be two stamp sets in there. Okay. Man, I'm like ADD today. All right, let's set this aside to dry. And where did my circle go? Where are the rest of my pieces? Oh, they're over here. Now we're gonna stamp those little clovers again, the little clover sprinkles, but this time, Stamp off before you stamp on your paper. Okay, stamp, stamp off, stamp, stamp off. That way you have like a light green because we're gonna stamp the sentiment right on top of it in gorgeous grape. And I love this saying, a good friend is like a four leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. So, this isn't necessarily a St. Patrick's Day card, right? At first glance, it is. It's the week before St. Patrick's Day, and that was my idea. But this could be a card for any time, really. All right, the other thing that we need to stamp is the little tiny four-leaf clover. And this one, for some reason, reminds me of the 4-H. Um, if your kids have ever done 4-H, their symbol is a four-leaf clover. For whatever reason, that looks like... The symbol they use their uh what do you call it logo okay bring this back and grab your scissors or you can do it on your trimmer and can you guys hear the the it's either a weed eater it's i think it's a leaf blower i mean my neighbor across the street oh it's a weed eater he's retired now and he spends a lot of time on his yard during the day. I adore him, I adore that family, but I'm gonna have to tell him, Fridays at two o'clock are off limits for your yard work, sir, until I move. <laughs> I don't know if you would appreciate that or not, I don't know. All right, now, this is gonna be a fussy cut situation. If you don't wanna fussy cut this, just get a little circle punch and punch it out. If you are brave and you're gonna fussy cut, just get your paper snips and go around the outside edge, leaving a white border around it. You need your glasses to do this. So if you have glasses, get them. You guys, yesterday we went to the house and they had they put all the drywall up and they were doing texture and paint. It looks like a house. It looks like a house, guys, like a real house. I'm so excited. We're getting close. Ted and I said we need to start doing some packing this weekend. But where do you start when you have to pack a whole house? It's very overwhelming. Very, very overwhelming. Exciting, but overwhelming. All right. Let's put this circle right here and grab yourself a gold bridge. Everybody needs a gold bridge in their life. Put glue on the ends, and we're gonna kind of round it around like that. All right, make sure it's not too high that it covers your words. Now, you're gonna need four of these grass, granny apple green grasses, all right, and we're just gonna layer them on here. You want to turn some of them backwards so your grasses are all facing a different direction. 
Okay. Let's do the backwards one in the back because it doesn't have texture. So the one that you're turning backwards, put in the back. So it's kind of, nobody will see it. I know some people get super mad when I turn die cuts around, like it's against the law or something. It is not. You can turn your die cuts around anytime you want. There's no right or wrong. <laughs> All right, if anybody tells you, you tell them I told you it was okay. All right, the little clover goes right there. And then we need some gold. Like, you know, at the end of the rainbow, there's gold. So get these adhesive back sequins. And just kind of sprinkle them around. Boy, I have used these adhesive back sequins so much. I love them. I hope they're in the new catalog. All right. So there's your card. Well, kind of. There's your card front. You've got to put it on the card base. I haven't seen any of your comments. So if you guys are saying stuff, I'm not ignoring you. I just am focusing. I will come back in just a second. All right, now for the inside, get your little sprinkle clovers and add them to a piece of white. Aw, thanks, I'm glad you like it, Les, thank you. Um, I like this card too, it feels very springy. Feels very springy. All right, and there you have it. What do you guys think? It's cute, isn't it? Very cute. And, well, in my opinion. <laughs> of course, it's cute in my opinion. i got to get my little bowl for my dimensionals. I try to keep a bowl here for my dimensionals. Okay, so there we have it. There's our first project. I'm glad you guys like it. Let me clean up and get our next project. Let's see, I need that and that. We're using Granny Apple Green quite a bit today. I need that. I gotta keep that. Get this. Get this. Okay. All right. Next. Oh my gosh. All right. You guys know I love Amazon, right? You're not gonna believe what I found on Amazon. Well, maybe you'll believe it, but that was kind of dramatic. I'm very excited about what I found on Amazon. I was looking around for some St. Patrick's treats and for whatever reason, these popped up. They are pistachio flavored Kit Kats. Now, hold on. I can already hear you guys saying, ew, no, it's not. They are delicious. I ate one. I love anything pistachio. These are super good. Um, I have another I have another project for you on Monday. I'm going to show you at the end another treat that I found. So you guys make sure you stay tuned for that, okay? But anyway, these are from Japan. Did you know that Japan makes Kit Kats like in every flavor under the sun? Well, I just ordered them from Amazon. They had them here. I don't know. It didn't take very long to get here. So I know it didn't come from Japan. But it's all in Japanese. But I mean, that's a pretty unique treat to give somebody, Right? And it's not really a St. Patrick's Day treat, but it's green. So I am saying it is a St. Patrick's Day treat. Are they different colors? Look, they are different colors. Pink and blue. Have you guys had these? When we went to um, Thailand, there were a lot of Kit Kats there as well, flavors. Very yummy. Oh, you don't like pistachios, Deb? So pistachio, the nut, you know, I'm okay with, but like pistachio ice cream is my favorite. If, if there is pistachio ice cream, I will choose that every time. I love it. And I just had some chocolate covered pistachios in here as well that I found at TJ Maxx, but they're gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened to them, but the bag was empty. I don't know. Um, it was me. I ate them. Okay. Let me show you how to make this. Here's this background stamp we're going to use. Here's another die set that is unorderable. All right? I know. I know. I can't help it. But it'll be back at the end of the month. This is the detail desert details, detailed desert dies. And we're going to use this one right here. 
I don't know why it has tape on it. I must have used it for something. All right, so detailed desert dyes. De desert details. Anyway, this is the one we're using, okay? All right, but first, let's stamp our paper. Granny Apple Green paper. Granny Apple Green cardstock. And this is a half sheet of Granny Apple Green. And out of one of these... You can cut two of the little rectangle thingies. I don't know what it's called, the stitched shape. All right, so use your stamparatus with your background stamp. That way, when it's like, meh, I didn't, you know, I needed more ink or it didn't stamp well, you can just add more ink and lay it down and it'll be exactly in the right place. All right. Okay, so there we've got that. Now, let's see, we're gonna cut this out. I need to make some room. You guys, if you don't like pistachio, then just go look. Type in Japanese Kit Kats. There's orange, there's peach, there's strawberry, blueberry. There's every flavor you could. And the thing is, you know, maybe I should just open one for you guys so you can see it. <laughs> and then I'll have to eat it. I don't know. It is chocolate chocolate. I was thinking it was white chocolate, but it's so good. Mm. I don't mind if I do. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I've never eaten during Facebook Friday before. Mm, so good. Okay. <laughs> Cut this out. Now I understand why people on TV are like, oh, I'm not supposed to eat on TV. Because then you have to talk. And your mother taught you not to talk when you have food in your mouth. All right, I'm just telling you, they're really good. It was a huge sacrifice for me to have to eat that after I opened it. Um, all right, so here's your shape. And if you, I think you guys have noticed before, I take a Sharpie and mark the six inch mark on my Simply Scored so I can have it like a center for whatever. Um, and this is one of those reasons. I'm gonna put the, the little indents right here on the six and I'm gonna add a score line, a quarter of an inch on each side. So six and a fourth and five and three fourths. That's gonna make this a half, a, half an inch wide or thick, all right? And then we're gonna take our hole punch and punch a hole. Now, some people are concerned that the Kit Kat's gonna fall out. Some people might be concerned. We'll just take a glue dot and just stick it on the back like that and then stick your Kit Kat there. I mean, it's, it's not a permanent hold, and it, but it'll pop off easily when you pull it, okay? All right, we're gonna use gold ribbon. This is the gold ribbon that is still in the catalog. And we're gonna thread that through those holes. You know what, I need to grab my scissors. I bought brand new scissors specifically for ribbon because I've ruined all my other scissors because I just can't keep myself from using ribbon scissors on non-ribbon things. So we'll see how long this lasts. All right, so you've got this little tie here, and then you're gonna take, this is Parakeet Party ribbon, and Parakeet Party is not Granny Apple Green, but it is very close. They are like sisters, all right? And we're gonna, it's, it goes well enough. And we're gonna tie this. I doubled it up so that we would have a double bow. Okay, and you just treat it like it's one piece. Like that. And then snip, snip. Isn't it just so cute? This is a really simple treat. If you're making treats for school, party, whatever. These are really, really simple. All right, now we're gonna use something else that's unorderable. <laughs> oh, 
from the one and three fourths inch circle punch. Man, mine is filthy. It has been around for a while. But Stampin' Up! brought back two of the circle punches. And if you need a circle punch, it'll be back in stock at some point. I don't know when, but it will be back in stock. It's sold like that. All right. We're going to do this little clover. Now, this is not a four-leaf clover. This is just a three-leaf clover. I'm going to stamp it off and then stamp on to my white cardstock. Get your embossing buddy. Embossing buddy real good. What's the, what's the verb? Embossing buddy it? I don't know. And then we're going to use this cute little good luck. I love the way this these little words look. Good luck. Put that right on there. And we're sticking with a gold theme. So we'll use some gold embossing powder. Okay. And then we'll heat it up and it'll be nice and shiny. Maybe I can look at your comments while I do this. Let's see. Um, Barbara, that's a good tip. Tie a few pieces of ribbon to your ribbon scissors and it helps to remind you not to use them. You know, it's not that I forget. It's just that I'm lazy and I don't want to go look for other scissors. Like, so lazy I don't want to open a drawer. It, it's me. It's, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I'm lazy. But that's a good tip. If all your scissors look the same, especially. All right, isn't that cute, you guys? So punch that out with your one and three quarters. Why does that look? Every time I do that, it looks too big. There are clean recordings of these projects over on YouTube um, in case you need to come back and watch it again. Um, and I did the exact same thing when I punched it then. I thought, why does that look too big? I use my layering circles and our fine shimmer cardstock to cut out a scallop circle. And then all you have to do is add it to your holder, your pistachio Kit Kat, easy and cute, right? So cute. I think this is my favorite project. Well, I don't know. I really like all three of my projects today. Usually I have a favorite. And this might be just a, just a tiny smidge more than the others. All right. I hope you guys will make those. And you know what? If you don't want to make them for St. Patrick's Day, keep in mind, or for whatever, the thing I had um, in my mind when I made these, our girls have to take standardized tests every year. It's called a STAR. And it's really stressful for them. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to keep these. It's usually like in April or May. And I'm just going to give these, like slide it in their backpack that day. Just as a little something. So, you know, it doesn't have to be St. Patrick's Day. It could be anything for good luck. But remember this, um, you know, we'll get these Kit Kats at Halloween, there's Easter Kit Kats, there's Christmas Kit Kats. So just remember this little um, shape from the desert detail dies is perfect for the Kit Kats. All right, last one. Oh, I'm excited about this one too. Another Amazon find. This one's a little less obscure. All right, we're just gonna make this box. And inside, you guys, are Lucky Charm Treat Bars. Um, I ordered these on Amazon. It comes with a Golden Grams, um, <laughs> which tastes just like Golden Grams. I mean, surprisingly, they taste just like a bowl of cereal. But um, I have it linked today on today's blog post if you wanna buy these. Um, but I was in Dollar Tree last week and I saw them down on the bottom shelf where you could just buy one. So if you just wanna buy one or two, you go to the dollar store. I'm sure they have them at the grocery stores too. I'm also using the charming sentiments um, for the word. We have this stamp set has this good luck, but I thought, you know what? I don't want to have to fussy cut that, and I want I want it to be as small as possible so you can see the clover behind it. So I'm I switched over to the charming sentiments for this one. Okay, let's make our box now. Here. Here's where the lines get a little blurry when I said you didn't need the punch. You definitely don't need the punch. But if you have it, 
it will make this project a little bit easier. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you an alternate where you, I'm going to fussy cut that shamrock. I mean, it's not that hard, but if you don't want to do that, I'm going to show you an alternate. Okay. All right. Let me get my PDF. Measurements are down here on the free PDF. On the short side, let's see, long side, it's seven by six and a fourth. So on the short side, you're going to score at three fourths, two and three fourths, three and a half, five and a half. Turn it to the long side, and that is wrong. If you've already printed the PDF, it should say three fourths of an inch, and that's wrong too. I was trying to do it off the top of my head. All right, don't print the PDF yet. Um, three fourths by and six and a fourth. Man, see, that's what happens when you're doing things off the top of your head. Okay, if you already printed it, you got to make a correction. Otherwise, I'll go change it in a minute. This should... Oh, no, I did. Oh, okay, what I was looking at was the DSP. The measurement's right. Three and a fourth by six and a fourth. Oh, my gosh, forget it. Ignore me. It's right. I was like, that was really off. How did I get that off? Okay, we already did that. I need a vacation. <laughs> okay, burn is your lines. We're going to go to Carlsbad Cavern National Park. Have you guys been there? It looks really creepy to me. I don't like being in down in the earth under deep down. I mean, if you guys haven't seen Carlsbad Caverns, go Google it and watch it on YouTube. It is insane how big it is. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to Guadalupe Mountains and possibly White Sands if we can squeeze that in. You know, we love the national parks. we got to add to our magnet collection. All right. On the short side, it's the same on both sides. You're going to do the exact same thing on both sides. On one end, just cut off the square and then snip the score lines. Our oldest just um, got back. Well, she's on her way back from Big Bend National Park. She went with a school group. She was actually one of the leaders for the group that canoed down the Rio Grande this week for four days. They were canoeing. I, I don't know where she came from. She's not of my genes. She is definitely her father. Um, slept on the sand on the beach of the river. Like she showed me, like she sent a picture. It was sand. No, thank you. Ugh. No, thank you. She said it was hot and it was lovely and she loved it and had a great time. They also did some repelling or something. I don't know. She's a wild one, that child. Very adventurous. She's not her mother. Her mother is a scaredy cat. Addie, my youngest, she's my scaredy cat too. We, we hang back. We don't like scary things. We don't like sleeping in the sand, for sure. Okay, this looks like it's bigger than it. I don't know why. It's like a, I, like I didn't cut, like I didn't cut it. It's just like a hair. Let me let me um, trim this. Um, it's like a hair too big. I don't know. Six and a fourth is what this should be. And it looks like it's like six and three eighths or something. So I'm going to trim it. I can just tell by looking at it that it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit big. So let me trim that. Okay. Now, oh, one other thing you need to do. And I know I've talked all the way through that. So go check out the recording on YouTube. I focus on the project much more when I'm <laughs> pre-recording. Cut those uh, corners off. All right, now we're going to take this tab right here and put tear and tape down that tab. I can't see y'all's comments. Literally, look, it's showing me nothing. Nothing. It's very annoying. If I touch it, they'll pop up. But then I have to touch it like every 10 seconds. White Sands is great. So White Sands is far. It's on the other side of New Mexico. Um, Carlsbad is like six and a half hours from here. And then that's another three hours. So we're going to try to squeeze it in. I don't know. We'll see. 
Um, all right, so fold this over like this. You know, out of, of the three, that's the one I want to see the most, White Sands. And there's also, um, is anybody from that area? There's also a museum there. Um, it, like the history of space or something. And my middle child wants to be a astrophysicist or something, some smarty pants. She's super smart and loves space. So she wants to do something with space. So I really feel like we're going to try to make a day of it. We'll have to get up early, drive three hours. <laughs> oh, and the time change. All right, fold that up. There you go. All right, put this down in there like that. Fold, 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 fold. Now here is Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper. This is from the annual catalog and it is on low inventory. <sighs> so if you like this paper, get it like ASAP because I have a feeling by the time I get back and we do Queen Bee projects, it's gonna be sold out because that's the paper I use for those projects. All right, look, I have just barely enough gold ribbon left. We're gonna tie this up here. We had a bunch of purple ribbons on clearance for a while, but now they're all gone. I was gonna use those. They were like $3, but they're all gone now. Boy, that clearance rack update was so good. Remember, when was that? Like the end of December? Whew, it was awesome. Well, maybe we'll have one soon again. Okay. So now there's your box, easy. So on this one, we're gonna take our clover and we're gonna stamp it right on our stitched circle, stylish shape circle. And you can stop there and just leave it like that, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp it on another piece and cut out just the leaves part and pop that up. So if you have the punch, that's really easy. If you don't have the punch, it requires fussy cutting, which is what I'm gonna do. If you don't wanna do that, then just leave it like this. All right, good luck. We're gonna cut this out with a matching die. Bring that over here. Let's see, the dies are over here. Now, one thing about these charming sentiment dies is that you've got very little wiggle room. There's not a big border around it. So make sure you look at all parts of the letter and that they're all like centered within the die. And then I like to take some post-it tape and set it down. You guys are gonna, I, I know, we've got to go to White Sands. I wish I had planned it differently. I, I could have planned it differently. Our, we're staying in a hotel three nights in Carlsbad, so I, I wish I, you know, I wish I had done that differently. Anyway, I know. But you're encouraging me to make the drive. All right, so fussy cut or punch if you have, you know, I just, barely got this punch it sold out and then a box that I had put an order that I put in I don't know like a week before came and it had it in it I was so glad <sighs> you just never know you know what we need to remember guys when the new catalogs come out punches seem to be the hardest thing for Stampin' Up! to keep in stock and I have a theory about that I, I this is completely my theory, I do not know facts about this, but here's my theory about the punches. I think that whoever we use to make them just can't make enough to meet our demand. You know, like, because Stampin' Up! wants us to have these punches. They wanna sell them. They don't wanna run out. So I just think that maybe physically, you know, like me, I can only physically make so many kits. And a manufacturer, especially in a short catalog time frame like this one is only four months. And that concludes my 
TED Talk. I have no idea. That's just me. I don't know. I mean, it sounds like that could be it, right? Their, their machines can only work so fast. A punch seems difficult. That seems like a complicated product to manufacture. Dye is not so much. But a punch, I mean, that's, there's a lot of variables there. All right, so put that there. Grab your many dimensionals. Don't go telling Stampin' Up! that Erica said, because I don't know any facts. It's complete just m me, mumbo-jumbo, thinking. <laughs> but it sounds good, right? I mean, that, that could be a, a reason why our punches sell so fast and then they're gone. I'm sure they have a long lead time, too. Like, I can't just call and say, send me 500 more next week. Right? I mean, you'd have to say... In six months, I need 500 more. They didn't ask me. They never asked me my advice or my opinion on any of this. <laughs> uh, I'm glad because they know better than I do. Okay, we are almost done. We've got dimensionals there. Let's add some more gold nuggets. Adhesive back sequins. Little Look like little gold coins all over your box and done and i i'm telling you those cereal bars are delicious they make a fun snack for kids and adults i ate that i ate a golden graham bar for a snack yesterday and it took me right back to my childhood we used to eat golden grams at my house it tastes just like golden grams delicious okay <laughs> All right, let's see, did I miss anything? Yes, Trisha, that's right. And that's what Stampin' Up! has said. When you order from China, it has a 90-day lead time. Uh, yeah, and the mini catalog is four months. You're exactly right. Um, <laughs> uh, Beth, a lot of people think you can't get the stamp set if you can't get the punch. But that this stamp set only has one image, kind of like the rabbit, too. Um, there was just one image in that stamp set that you could use the punch. Everything else was no punch needed. Okay, let's see. Did I miss anything? I don't leave. I have something else to show you. Yes, Becky, it'll be back in stock. The Desert Details bundle will be back in stock at the end of the month. Um, do I have a National Park passport where you can stamp? You know, Kim, my kids did them when they were little. We don't really, we haven't really kept up with it. We do buy the season pass, though, National Park season pass. If you're going to do National Parks more than one, that season pass, well, maybe more than three. The season pass is really good. It gets you into all the parks for free. Okay. I don't think I missed anything. Okay. I want to show you guys something else. First of all, did you see my projects from yesterday? I was so stinking proud of these projects. I don't know why. Um, Jenny Polly is a demonstrator from Germany, and she is very artsy. Like, her stuff's really artistic. And she had posted something with a baby wipe and the rainbow, but it was in her video, obviously, in German. So I watched, and I was like, okay, I kind of understand. Then I started playing around, and mine's a little bit different than hers. Um, so this is what I came up with. You... I have a video for you from yesterday. You drop dots of ink on the baby wipe and then you take the baby wipe and you just like that. You pull it down on your paper, make a you know streak and each one is different. And then you add stuff to get kind of that mix. Um, it's got Wink of Stella and water and I don't know. And look, I added some in the inside and then I had, I had made some so many because I was so excited that I made these tags. Again, good for any time of the year. Little gold ribbon, little sparkle. Okay, so video tutorial for that is on yesterday. Okay, get ready. Here's here's Monday's project. I found these M and M's at my local grocery store. Our local grocery store is called H E B, and usually I don't find anything too specific there. But I found these, and they are key lime pie. M&M's. You guys, you know I love lime, key lime pie. Remember when we had the key lime pie Kit Kats? Oh, they were so good. Well, these are key lime pie M&M's and they're the right colors. They are, they're not like 
chocolate, chocolate. They're like white chocolate and key lime, just like the Kit Kat. People were so freaked out by that key lime Kit Kat. They thought it was super weird. I'm telling you, you guys, if you like key lime, you'll like this. Um, it's They're like white chocolate. Um, so anyways, then we used to carry in our catalog these bags. They're one by eight. Well, Amazon has them. So I ordered them real quick. They got here like in less than 24 hours. And then I just made a little topper for the bag. Did the same kind of deal here where I stamped it and then cut out and then just a little banner. Okay, so I'll have this on my blog on Monday. I have several things planned for the blog while I'm gone, so don't think that there will be nothing happening over there. So make sure you stop by. Um, I have you guys completely taken care of for St. Patrick's Day. We don't, St. Patrick's Day isn't a big deal around here. Um, when I lived in Savannah, is anybody in the Savannah area? They had like the biggest St. Patrick's Day parade, like in the country. It was a big deal. Um, but here it's not really a big deal. Usually we're on spring break. I don't know. Anyway, I got you covered this year, right? We got a lot of St. Patrick's Day things. <laughs> okay. Don't forget. Where did I put my paper? Did I put it? Where did I put it? Here it is. Don't forget while I'm gone. All orders over $50 will get a pack of handmade cards, 10 cards, 10 envelopes. And if your order is, why didn't I bring this back over here? And if your order is $100, you will also get the Scenic Garden stamp set. Okay? All right, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will be back on um, the next Facebook Friday will be the 24th of March. Okay. I'm going to go take a nap. You guys have a great weekend. Bye.